The Galaxy S8, a device that's taking the world by storm. It's water cooler talk. Everyone wants to know how good or how bad this phone is. So let's find out. What's up everybody, it's your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. And this is my one week review, my thoughts about the Galaxy S8 Plus. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So having a Galaxy S8 Plus was a mixed bag during my first week review. Everything's not rosy with this phone. So let's go to get the specs out the way. As you can see on the screen, this phone has the best specs to offer in 2017. So what's so unique about the Galaxy S8 that has everyone buzzing? I think Samsung is trying to make a huge statement in 2017. The Galaxy S8 is top dog. Is that true? Is the Galaxy S8 top dog? The short answer is yes and no. Let's get into it. Let's talk about that screen on the Galaxy S8. And I mean, it is a beauty. Woo, this screen is a beauty. The Galaxy S8 Plus has a 6.2 inch 1440 by 2960 pixels with a strange aspect ratio of 18 by five by nine which is gorgeous. I mean, one of the best displays I ever saw. It's really good for watching movies, reading text. It's a pleasant experience looking at the screen of this device. The only issue I found is out of the box, this device is set to 1080p, but under settings, you could make changes to the resolution to 1440p if you like. Even at 1080p, the screen is really sharp. I mean, the texts are very crisp. Some will say that Samsung is cheating to save battery life because it has a 3500 milliamp battery that's lower than most devices at this size. I do understand why Samsung might have lowered the capacity to play it safe. We all know what happened in 2016 with the Galaxy Note 7. Since we talking about the battery life, the few days I've had with this device, I was able to get through a full day. I maxed out at about five and a half to six hours screen on time, which was very impressive. I've done a battery test with this device, playing a video loop test. And I mean, it is extraordinary that this device have maxed out at 12 hours and 25 minutes. It's the longest I ever had on a battery test. So I'm very impressed at the overall battery with the Galaxy S8. Let's talk about the performance of the Galaxy S8. This device has a Snapdragon 835 4 gigs of RAM. This phone runs very smooth with no hiccups, no stuttering. The new Experience UI is different from what you've seen from Samsung in the past. I believe Samsung has learned a valuable lesson from the old days of TouchWiz. You still get all the extras like Smart Select and stuff like that, but overall the interface is clean on the Galaxy S8. Let's talk about these cameras on the Galaxy S8. It has a 12 megapixel rear and an eight megapixel front with all the bells and whistles. I've been having a strange time with this camera. The horrible placement of the fingerprint scanner makes one of the most frustrating things when you shoot video and photos with this device because you have to make sure that the camera lens is clean. To me, that's a huge problem because this camera is no longer a grab point and shoot camera due to the possibility of the lens. The camera here is good, but we have some issues with focusing. And I believe it's software. When you shoot in 4K, the focus is okay. When you shoot in 1080p at 60 frames per second, you do have problems with focusing. All other modes is good, but I'm finding when shooting at 1080p, at 60 frames per second, you have slow focusing problems with this device. Also, when you sideload your device to SD card, your videos will drop down in quality, which is bad. I hope Samsung will send out a fix very soon to fix this issue. But all things considered, my biggest gripe with this device is the placement of the fingerprint scanner. In my opinion, it's unusable trying to place your right finger over the left side 
and again, putting smudges on the camera lens that makes the camera almost unusable if you want to grab point and shoot. You have to make sure that the camera lens on this device is pretty clean, especially if you take a lot of photos and do a lot of videos. But most of the stuff that's wrong with this device can be fixed with software updates. And I know since this device just came out, we need Samsung to give this device a little TLC. Overall, the Galaxy S8 Plus, to me, is a good device. Beautiful, cordial device. I love the design, I love the screen, I love the speed of the device. Stay tuned, I got more coverage of the Galaxy S8 Plus in all its glory. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy S8. See you guys on the next video. Peace.